Welcome to the series Bums on Seats. Where top marketing professionals tell us how they see the world of marketing and advertising. How do you think the view of marketing's changed in the boardroom? Um, what, what have been the influences in, and even in your time as, it, as the, uh, your role within that board space changed? The, re the recession has changed the way that, w that everybody does, does business and there's been far greater scrutiny on, on, on budgets. Fixed costs have, have been um, kind of scrutinised as much as possible uh, but really where the opportunity lies is around um, for businesses to be more efficient is through looking at their variable costs and obviously marketing is, is one of those. So probably marketing has, has uh, gained far greater prominence around the boardroom table as a result of that during over the last uh, couple of years. So. Where you can put yourself out of the marketing box and go, I'm not just here to do marketing, I'm here to have an impact across the organisation, I'm here to drive growth. Mm. And in doing that, that means you need to go and talk to the finance director, the CEO, and you need to yep. talk in their language. Yeah, because you're all on the same team. To marketers yeah. to show that they are more than making a nice ad, that they do understand that the ambitions, the strategic, the strategic priorities of the organisation. It's schizophrenic. Uh, some people think, right, if, we're, if, if the economy is going down, spend more. And others are of the view that money is a discretionary spend, marketing is a discretionary spend, that essentially we can claw back because we're halfway through the year now. Our year runs from April, March to April, April to March, so we'll have that money back, thank you. And that battle goes on the whole time. In that, in that sense, it hasn't changed at all mm -hmm. in 20 years. Um, and it depends where your view is, and it depends where philosophically where you're at on this. In the instance we're in now, you have to prove much more carefully that the money you're spending is delivering. And we had a very interesting moment. There was a, there was a show in, at the end of last year um, on the pre-Raphaelites at Tate Britain, and it was doing very well, but I thought it could do better. And so we asked for a slug of money. A section of galleries, in terms of shows, is very responsive to, to plain old advertising. Mm -hmm. And by plain old advertising, I mean on the side of a bus. Yeah, print. Yeah. Old stuff, nothing fancy. So we did some ads on the back of a bus, and guess what? Audiences went up. And you could measure it. You, you can pretty much tell what's going to happen to a show once it starts. And we put the adverts on the buses, up it went. Mm -hmm. And that was a very useful... Um, example of both how to prove exactly how it measures on gate receipts, mm -hmm. but equally then it gives you evidence. It's evidence based that allows you to to ask for more next time. I've been to lots of um, very interesting discussions and meetings over the, the past year, looking at the role of marketers on the board. There's still not that many, mm -hmm. um, and I think that people, as I said, marketers need to sort of change the way they engage with the organisation to earn their seat at the table. Being able to just represent the, the, the brand around, uh, around that table and uh, uh, in those discussions has been critical because as things become far more pressurised, it's easy to forget, as we talked about before, the, the bigger picture. So from us here at Team Darwin, thanks for watching. See you next time.